Have you felt defeated? Have your plans crashed and burned? Do you shake your head and wonder what happened? Do you feel confused and discouraged? Then we need to talk. Welcome back to our Change How You Think weekly video podcast. If you'd like to hear from us every week, then subscribe to our videos on YouTube or click on the weekly video tab at the top of this webpage, fill in the subscription form, and you'll get our free self assessment ebook, Healthy Moods, along with your choice of mental, spiritual, or relationship information. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, David, who was not yet king, faced a hopeless and desperate situation. He had been away with his men, serving the king, but when he returned to his home village, he found it burned to the ground by raiders and all the people were missing. He and his men had lost everything. Their possessions and families were gone and they could only imagine what the attackers were doing to their loved ones. It was a desperate and hopeless situation. They were all stricken with grief. In verse 4, it says, David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. But it got worse. The men were so upset, they blamed David and talked about killing him. Have you ever felt this hopeless, defeated, desperate, and worried? That's such a painful place to be. So what did David do? His spirit was crushed and his supporters were ready to mutiny. In verse 6, it says, David found strength in the Lord his God. He knew from past experiences that God was always available to give him comfort, strength, and wisdom. He needed to strengthen himself before he could lead his men. David had cultivated such a close relationship with God, he knew God was the answer when a situation becomes confusing and hopeless. Then he chose to get divine direction for the next step. He didn't want human wisdom. That would be unreliable. He wanted God's perspective. So he consulted the priest who gave him God's direction to pursue the attackers. David obeyed, won the battle, and recovered everyone and everything that had been stolen. It was a great victory. So what is the lesson for us when we feel defeated or face confusing, desperate, or hopeless situations? Follow David's example. First, turn to God, tell him how you are feeling, and hand to him the circumstances you are facing. Spend time strengthening your spirit by being in God's presence. Worship is a wonderful way to invite His presence and open your spirit to His voice of comfort. Then ask Him what He wants you to know about the situation and what He wants you to do. Talk it over with a trusted Christian friend if you aren't sure of what you're hearing. Remember there are no hopeless situations with God. Regardless of your past or present, He can give you a new future. He can restore broken dreams, relationships that seem broken forever, and years you thought were wasted. God can do the impossible in your life. Don't underestimate what He can do when you get into His presence and ask for His direction. So be encouraged today. He never gives up on you, even when you have given up on yourself. If you'd like to learn how to have a closer relationship with Jesus and hear His voice, come join us and free your mind and do the course God Speaks. Free Your Mind is an online self-study program that will help you change how you think. It will guide you through a pathway of healing, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Through 15-minute videos, regular live group coaching calls, an online community forum, and 24-hour access to our entire video library, you can work at your own speed, anytime, from anywhere in the world, on any device to begin the life-changing transformation you've been looking for. You can learn more about it by using the links below this video. We'll talk to you next week, but this week, strengthen yourself in the Lord. 